Hey everyone, welcome back to, uh, Cell to Singularity. <laughs> I am going to play a little bit of this. I have a lot of stuff that I need to do this weekend and I'm gonna be out of town actually, so I want to try and get as much done on this right now as I can because I will not be around this computer to record or play this game more, so, um, let's see, I think I need this, first of all. Oh, these, are they the things I need? I think so, okay. Okay, hang on. That one's cheaper, but it's also... Okay. Um, yeah. And then I need this. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll, I should read these. Okay. As an alternative to drying, tea leaves are sometimes roasted in clay or iron pots over charcoal fires. Roasted tea is known as hojicha in Japan and boasts reduced caffeine and a less vegetal flavor than unroasted teas. Alright, and then this was... Uh, Silk Road Trade, this trade route began in the 2nd century BCE and brought goods like silk, ceramics, and tea from China to the rest of Asia. This sparked entirely new markets for tea, con tea consumption. And then, okay, Arabic Shai, this strong black tea is often served in a glass rather than a mug and plays a significant role in Middle Eastern hospitality. Mint, cardamom, sugar, and sometimes a dash of milk are popular additions to Arabic shy. Okay, that's cool. Um, these were all making this more efficient. This. So much to upgrade. All right. Um. Okay, this is actually not too much. Um. Okay. Okay. Um, how much was this? 400 million. Okay, we'll see if I can actually get that. I want to get this done because I want, I want to see what all of those things are. Anyway, um, Mesozoic Valley. I want this to be automated so much. But it's fine because I'm almost done with uh, this whole thing anyway. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Asteroid time again. Oh, it's like it looks like it's darker outside this time. Anyway, um, all 
Oh, well, that was a new thing. I think that's probably the thing this thing is. Ooh. It upgrades all of them. That's really cool. Alright. Well, let's get this going then. Alright. Yay. I do need more for the others, but that's okay. Um, I want to just get all of them going before I worry too much about leveling them up a lot, but I'll do this one a lot, because it's... I'm sure these will be needed anyway. I also need mutagen, so... Perfect. And I have to level that one up anyway, so that's perfect. This is expensive. <laughs> oh, I can rank up this. Perfect. Oh, that's valuable. Alright. <laughs> Nice, that's good to know. This is cool that it enhances all of them. Seems like I don't have many bipedal ones right now. I have this one and this one. I'm curious what the new thing is going to be, though, because since this is a new simulation, I think I'm going to get another thing. Probably off of... I think it's going to be here. Probably. Um, but I'm very curious about what that's going to be. So I should try and get this one. I need to collect so much of this, but that's fine. Um, clicking at this point isn't super valuable, <laughs> but that's okay. There we go. Okay, that isn't coming off from there yet. Do I get another one? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no. All right. I should start upgrading this one more because it's the one that I actually have a quest to upgrade right now. Mutagen. 
This is very satisfying. I am curious whether there is going to be a new thing this time though because this is just going to a card. I don't know. It's very cheap to upgrade, so... There we go. <laughs> Also, it goes very fast. why this one is just a consistent circle when the others are different and actually show it like this one just keeps circling and I don't know why much clicking. <laughs> it's going very quickly though, so that's nice. gotten a lot of mutagen, which is really nice, because I know I'm going to need that. <laughs> I need to get this leveled up two more levels, and then I'll be able to see what another of my quests is, because these other quests are ones that are going to take a while to get all of the fossil and the two more upgrades because I need so much mutagen for those upgrades. rank this up now actually okay photo triceratops that's really easy oh it's being photogenic perfect okay nice ooh new thing A 
Okay, so maybe that part wasn't gonna take quite as long as I thought it might. <laughs> so satisfying. I've already finished three. Um, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna go beyond for a little bit. <laughs> I had a lot of things I needed to level up. Alright, let me actually do more expensive things first. I need to get Jupiter. I need to rank up that. Um, and I need to get these. Yay, lots of things. Nice. Okay. Um, and then this one as well. So now I will get that one again, but it's even longer than before. And I will get Dwarf Star, and I will get the short one of Dark Matter for now. Um, oh, this is open. I don't remember what that was. I think it might have been a Dark Matter thing, possibly. Ooh, if I rank up the moon, I'll be done with another one. Um... Well, I can rank up that. This is still so small. Oh my goodness. I have so much to do with the moon. Okay. Alright. Asteroid belt. Ooh, perfect. Um... Asteroid belt, I do have to. I don't have Vesta yet. Wait a second, that's not correct. I need to get Vesta too. That's probably part of why I didn't earn as much as I could have, because Vesta's not active. need to get Vesta. This is gonna take so long because of how much stardust I need here. That's not what I meant to click on. Okay, I think that the ranking up Mars, ranking up the moon, and upgrading the trait, and ranking up Mercury and the sun are the ones that are gonna actually give me the moons. Um, I think Mercury and the sun might give me Io, and then the moon, I don't know yet. Because there's three 
moonish ones, but I'm not sure which one will actually give me that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. The moon, the sun, and Mercury are the ones where I'm closest to actually getting that thing done. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much that I need though. All right, I can rank this up. I don't know what that is. The moon is close to being ranked up, so I want to try and work on that, but oh, there's so much ranking up I need to do. Everything is so expensive here. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of not surprising because you're dealing with actual planets, but at the same time, ah, uh, this is gonna take so long. This one still doesn't even show any progress bar at all. Even though <laughs> it has. 2.55 trillion stardust already. It's still not showing any progress. And all the other ones that don't show any progress, it's just because I haven't even started them yet. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm gonna go with Mars for a little bit. Alright. <laughs> Everything is so expensive. <laughs> Alright, asteroid belt. I can upgrade a little bit. That's not what I meant to click. Why won't it let me? Okay, there we go. Okay. Jupiter is getting closer to being done. Jupiter is so valuable when it finishes, but it's very slow. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. gonna be so valuable when it finishes, but it has to actually finish first. I'm gonna give it more time to gather stuff. a hundred. Alright. The only two mammals that hatch from eggs are duck-billed platypi and echidnas. Alright. I'm gonna get so many turtles. <laughs> Alright. 
I won't be able to afford all the turtles I want, but that's okay. And then, let's see, what do I want here? Okay. Microscope. Uh, for the first time, we can see objects and organisms smaller than the human eye can perceive alone. Using curved glass and mirrors, a whole new tiny world opens up to us. Okay. Uh, Caravel. Caravels were small, fast sailing ships that enabled oceanic exploration during the 15th and 16th centuries. Um, banking. As global markets grow via international trade, humans develop the need for institutions to regulate money and how it is handled. Astrolabe. The astrolabe was a tool used by astronomers and navigators to calculate the position of celestial objects. Its name literally translates to the one that catches the heavenly bodies. Well, that makes sense. Um. Sextant, a tool for measuring the distance between two visible objects used for celestial navigation. Between this and the astrolo astrolabe, uh, oh my gosh, that's not what I want. Okay, astrolabe, sailors were now able to chart more elaborate courses and explore the globe farther than ever before. Galleon, galleons were large sailing ships used as armed cargo carriers and warships. They were a mainstay of maritime commerce and naval warfare. Herbalism. The first medicines were created from plants, using plants from our own backyards. Many medications today still use ingredients that are found in the natural world. Alright, magnetic compass. The compass is an instrument that uses magnets to always point a needle to the north. No matter where you are in the world, you can always figure out what direction you're heading in with the compass. Alright, and now I can get scientific revolution. What well, seems like magic can be explained by science. Humans can perform miracles too. Alright. As the European Renaissance came to a close, new ideas about math, biology, chemistry, physics, and astronomy changed the way we thought about the world. With the emergence of modern science, humans' intellectual progress as a species gets a sudden boost of speed. Alright. He who smelt it dealt it. Bronze was harder and more durable than most metals of its time, and its invention paved the way for tools and goods that lasted longer, giving humans a new technological advantage. Alright. Coin collection. Coinage made of bronze, silver, and gold first appeared around 100 BCE in Britain toward the end of the Iron Age. Turtles. All of my upgrades for all of these guys are so expensive now. These ones aren't too expensive.
calculus. Ugh. <laughs> Math is my worst subject, and I've never taken calculus, and I don't intend to. Everything I've heard about it from people I know who have taken it, it does not sound fun at all. Okay, um, I could get scissors, I could get grinding, makes matcha more efficient, and this goes to something up there, okay, or no, I can't get that one yet, um, I can get scissors, so I might as well do that. Um, today most tea is harvested by machine, but tea harvesters of the past used relatively small and delicate scissors. These dainty implements were used to carefully remove leaves without harming the plant. Okay. get so much progress done on this one because I'm having so much fun with this but it's also so expensive I kind of wonder I might end up bringing my computer with me for the weekend I don't know it's kind of a hassle to do that's not what I meant to click on um because this particular computer is not my laptop so All right. Okay, I do need to rank up Jupiter. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Okay, Mars, Mercury, and the Sun. Mercury is done. Perfect. It's getting very dramatic right now. I do need to rank up Earth, so I will work on that right now. Alright. I need more dark matter. <laughs> How's my thing? Ah, it's that. Ooh, 
perfect. Yes. <laughs> Still, nothing is showing up in this progress bar. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so much now. Okay. That is... Convenient. Okay. Okay, that is very satisfying. Okay, I need to focus on the sun because, ah, uh, well, it's so expensive though, actually. Um, Earth is going to get expensive, but uh, I can't decide. Because <laughs> the sun, okay, Mars and the sun are my priorities right now, and the moon. Because Earth, I can't get that quest until I get Ganymede, which I do not have. Um, these are so expensive. Although, the asteroid belt is valuable when it finishes. Um... No, I'm not gonna spend that right now, actually. Ooh, perfect. Oh, this is satisfying. <laughs> Still no progress at all on this progress bar. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take years. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna go to Mesozoic for a little bit.
hopefully this will make things go more quickly. I need so much mutagen still. <laughs> curious if there's gonna be a new species. I feel like there should be, but I also don't see any indication of where that would be. finish the Ornisthia or however you pronounce that name um, because in terms of total levels I'm closer to having it done and I want to get it out of the way so that I can see what thing I need to start working on next. I mean, I know Stegosaurus is also one that I should work on, and it is cheaper right now, but... I want to get one of them finished overall, um, so that I can see the next thing anyway, and then I will work on both of them, but... So much clicking. <laughs> so quickly, but there's so much that I need. I need eight more levels for this one. Alright, <laughs> we're getting 
getting closer. Slowly. Slowly getting closer. I'll do a little bit of Stegosaurus right now because it's a lot cheaper right now and that way it will be earning more and also it's so much more valuable. So hopefully that will make things go more quickly. this one to be automated. really windy outside my window right now and it's I'm excited about it because I have to drive for like five hours later today and um not to date the episode but I'm uh I'm going home for Mother's Day so I have to drive home and I'm hoping that the wind means it won't be too hot in the car because, ah, uh, <laughs> it's, it was really warm yesterday, which is weird because it got really, really, really cold, um, very recently in both the hills of California and also the hills around where my university is, it snowed literally like a week ago. Um, which is weird because it's May, but um, now it's really warm, so. The weather just kind of can't decide what it's, what it's trying to do right now. But I hope it's not too hot in the car because Cosmos is going in the car too and he's going to be on the side of the car toward the sun when we're driving. And the last time we made that drive he got really really warm. So I'm hoping that it won't be too hot in the car and that also he'll have some shade. Um, I'm leaving late enough that part of the drive will be in the dark. So that will be nicer for him because then he won't be overheating and I will probably put some water on him with a washcloth before we get in the car if I decide it's too hot. So we'll see. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I think I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to go back to primary for a bit. Okay. This knowledge tree is getting so large. Okay. I'm gonna just buy all of those. 
And then, let's see. All right, middling at best. The Middle Ages actually refers to a very long period of history from about 400 to 1485 AD. Historians generally separate the era into the early, high, and late periods. Okay, it's good to know. I will research biology, the study of natural life and living organisms. We begin to understand how our own bodies work and those of the animals and plants around us. Calculus, yeah. <laughs> the mathematical study of continuous change. We learn how to calculate rates of change and are propelled into further discoveries about science, engineering, and economics. Steam engine. A new power source with promise for both transport and manufacturing. We're in the age of coal and steam. The industrial revolution is here. Steam powered trains replace horses and machines start doing the heavy lifting. Alright. And they start polluting everything so that all the moths change color. <laughs> if you want to look up a really interesting thing about evolution, there were these moths in... I believe it was in England. Um, and basically what happened was these moths, most of them were a light color but a few of them were darker, and I want to see the explosions of all of these things, it's very fun. Um, but a couple of them were a darker color, and in a very short span of time, all of the light-colored ones, um, which had previously been the dominant trait, all started, uh, declining and then there were a lot more um of the darker colored ones because there was a lot of soot being produced by the industrial revolution and so these moths um the the light ones used to be camouflaging but now that everything was completely covered in soot they were standing out a ton, and so after that, the black ones um, became the more dominant ones because they were the ones that were surviving. And so very quickly, this moth got a lot darker than it had previously been, and it's fascinating. Let me check this. What does it do? Makes wild tea plant. Oh, that is a lot percent. Okay. Let me see what other weird facts. Oh, well, it's, it's not a weird fact necessarily, but I do have um, a tea right now that's really good. It's a black tea that's like nutty maple, and so it has, I think it's pecan, um, and then maple flavor black tea, and it's very good. I have an entire shelf of tea, um, like, I have a little three-shelf bookshelf that I have in my kitchen right now, and the entire top is covered in tea.
need to decide which things to upgrade right now. Um, I'm close to getting done with this sun here, actually. Oh, I need <laughs> everything to go faster. Let me guess, it's still not showing a single thing here. Yep. How long is that gonna take? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's still not showing anything. I need to start getting these other moons. I feel like once I get the other moons, they will probably be really expensive, or really um, creating a lot. They will also, I'm sure, not be <laughs> automated at first. Yes! Okay. But I think they'll produce a lot, which means that I will be very happy because that means that hopefully I'll start to actually make some progress bar on this thing that is not showing anything. Okay, what did that do? Okay. Asteroid belt and Jupiter and then Io, which I don't have. Okay, asteroid belt and Jupiter have to be my next priority then. Darn it, I thought I was gonna get one of them. Unfortunately not. I might as well do that. <laughs> gives me so much per click now. It's very satisfying. Perfect. Shrinking up to do. Okay. Ooh, that one. It's it's getting very valuable. <laughs> I mean, not that it wasn't before, but. do some for the moon and earth too because I feel like I need to work on those as well um, and Mars technically Mars is kind of expensive compared to the asteroid belt right now but Okay. 
Okay, I think what it's gonna be is that this is gonna be Io. Yeah, it looks like Io. Um, and so I need to get that. And then once I get the ranking up Io, then I'll get another one. And then after that, I will get, um, I don't know which one this would be. I think this would be Europa, because that's the next one. And then possibly after that, I would get Ganymede. Um, ooh, Ceres is doing things. Ooh, yes, I will actually quadruple it because I really need all of this stuff right now. Oh my gosh. So much. Okay. I know I don't need to upgrade series, but also... This is a very good opportunity. very exciting. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. gonna be so expensive to rank these up. <laughs> Alright. Tea again. I want to get this one, but I need so much. I don't actually want to spend those right now. I will spend matcha though. Or not matcha, brewing teacups, whatever they're called. Perfect. 
I really want to know if there's going to be a new thing here. I also really need just a little bit more mutagen because then I can get this one, I think. Um, so hopefully I can get that pretty quick. This one's almost um, to a hundred, so maybe then. Yeah, 10 more. I still need 25 to be able to do that other upgrade, but that's okay. I'm very close to collecting all of the fossils that I need right now, too. Making progress slowly but surely. I'm getting actually very close to getting done with collecting. So that's exciting. Alright, almost done. There we go. Alright, and I can upgrade this one now. Which means that now it's going pretty quickly. Okay. Parasaur. I still don't see any place for a new one to be. So, I don't really know if that means that there just aren't any more, but I feel like there would be. All right. This is very satisfying. <laughs> I'm trying to save up to get the Orinthesia updated again. Because I only have four more levels for that and then it's done. It's fun watching all the circles going, because they're all pretty fast compared to, like, the beyond area where they're very, very, very slow. A lot of them.
so many things to upgrade. All right. Something I did not mean to, that's okay. is actually going pretty quickly. I will actually level that up and this one a little bit because it's might as well. <laughs> I'm gonna just start leveling up a couple things because I'm sure I will get quests to level them up eventually. Also because I want mutagen and I will get it like that. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's go see how slow all my planets are being. <laughs> slow and expensive. Actually, that's not too slow. Okay. I do need to prioritize some things, though. Okay. First, I need... No, I don't need that. I do need... Oh, yes. I got the whole asteroid belt ranked up again. Yes. Perfect. I still need it one more time, but... Okay. Ooh, and it's gonna finish soon. Ooh, this is gonna be valuable, okay. And now I'll do... Mars with what I have left over. Okay. The moon can be ranked up. Jupiter is almost done. Perfect. Yay. Oh my gosh, this is gonna give so much next time. Oh, Jupiter is really valuable. Okay. I'm also getting so much per click. What the heck? Okay. Very exciting. <laughs> oh, yes, asteroid belt. Let's go. I love it when these outer ones start doing that. <laughs> Also because I love that it's <laughs> it's giving more than my clicks and sometimes they give less depending which thing it is so this is very nice I want Jupiter to finish I want <laughs> my 
242,000, no, 242 million, trillion, oh my gosh, 242 trillion, this unit of measurement. I am having problems with numbers today. Does anyone else have a problem? I realized this when I was reading one of the little fact thingies earlier. I was thinking about this. Does anyone have a problem when people say something that's a thousand as like 1,500 and getting confused with 15,000 when you just hear it? Because for some reason, I have problems with that, and I always mainly try to say 1,500, not 1,500. Because um, for some reason, whenever I see, whenever I say 1,500, I think of it more as like 15,000. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, numbers are confusing sometimes. <laughs> All right, I can get the moon again. I want Jupiter to finish so badly. That is definitely my most valuable thing currently that I have. Oh yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so valuable, what the heck. Oh, this is my favorite thing that's ever happened. <laughs> My clicks are so irrelevant right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need Jupiter to do this as often as possible. I should have done the thing where it multiplies it because that would have been insane but also this thing is still not showing any progress <laughs> even after all that okay oh that was so exciting <laughs> okay I will actually quadruple that right now. Oh, I'm gonna get so much. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. I need it to finish. I'm so excited. I'm 
so close to getting the moon leveled up again. Or ranked up, I guess. I'm having so much fun with this game. <laughs> I say that like every time I record this, but it's, I don't know what it is. This game is just, something about it is so satisfying to me. Hi, Cosmos. Cosmos just came in, he says hi. He was yelling out the window earlier, scaring away all the evil construction workers and car drivers and people walking other dogs and everything that's outside. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, Jupiter is doing it again! Yes, I will absolutely... Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing that's happened. <laughs> Also because it's happening right when it's about to um, finish, so it's gonna be so much. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I might finish ranking up Jupiter right here. I will contribute with my small clicks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Perfect. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did it! Yay! Ayo! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy about this. Oh my gosh. I love it. Yay! I was here. Perfect, and now I can get it automating itself. I'm so excited about this! <laughs> Yay! I have Io! Alright. Let me see if my strategy was right. Yes, it was. Why is that saying 0%? I don't know. <laughs> it's more than 0, but... Ah, uh, that's so exciting. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy about that. Ooh, asteroid belt again! Yay! <laughs> So close to getting finished with Earth. Earth's upgrading. Ooh, <laughs> this is so exciting. I love it. All right, Io. I love Io. Okay. I'm gonna go back to this for a little bit. Hopefully, I will have enough for some of these upgrades that I want. I didn't really get that much just because I've been away for not very long, but 
This one is kind of accumulating slowly right now. Um, I need this to be automated and it's not. Oh, I accidentally upgraded that. That's okay. <laughs> um. Alright. I will just upgrade these guys, because I know I probably will need to anyway, so. Alright. I have checked on them. I will go back to primary. Laws of motion. This is for a scientific revolution. Discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. One, objects in motion stay in motion, and objects at rest stay at rest. Two, acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. Three, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Cool. Oh, I can get industrial revolution soon. Okay. Um... I feel like we've, we're moving so quickly. We only just had single-celled organisms. What is this? Oh, so close to 50 of these. I'm determined to get 50 Neolithic ages. I should click, that will make it go more quickly. There we go, 50! Yay! Okay, counting sheep, their first animals to be bred specifically for food production, were probably an early ancestor of goats or sheep. These animals- I need to click this. Uh, these animals provided both milk and meat, thus making their domestication integral to ending our reliance on hunting and gathering. Cool, good to know. Alright, I think... I have gotten a lot of stuff done here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the tea area for a little bit. I think I might actually end up just bringing my computer home with me because I want to play this more. It's very fun and I also feel like I'm making a lot of progress on it and I want to learn more about tea things, so. Um, Ochazuke, a Japanese dish where green tea, dashi, or rice is or or water is poured over steamed rice. Add toppings like salted salmon, pickled plum, and sesame seeds to create a delicious light meal. Cool. It's good to know. I feel like I'm getting stuff so quickly now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. This is going very quickly, which I really like. Um Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I can upgrade so many of them. Yeah, why not? 
This one is making more than this one is right now. All right, let me double check what I need to use things for or whether I want to save it. I will. This one is so fast now, actually. Because of that one upgrade. So, I have to, I have to go with that. And then I'll go with this. Once it's available, at least. And I will also upgrade matcha once. Um, yay, okay. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm having so much fun with this game. I love this game. I like so many games, but this one. I feel like this one is kind of a little bit taking over my channel right now. Slightly. Um, but I am still trying to keep some variation of other games as well. And the thing about this game is that I feel like once I finish it, then I won't keep playing it. Like, there are certain games, like The Wandering Village, where I've technically beaten the game, but I'm still playing them anyway. Technically, it's still an early access. Or not early access, but it's... I don't know if it actually counts as early access. It's still being heavily developed. Um, but this one, I feel like once I finish it, I will be done with it. But for now, I'm playing a ton of it because I'm having so much fun with it. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to still keep a variation because I realized there was one week where, like, the entire week was just this game. <laughs> um, but... Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I love it. Um, but I think that I'm just gonna bring my computer with me and get ready to go home. I have an assignment to quickly finish before I can leave, so I'm gonna get working on that and then I will be leaving, uh, but I will definitely try to do more recordings while I'm gone, uh, whenever I can, if I can. I'm only gonna be gone for the weekend, but I've been having a lot of fun doing recordings recently, so who knows? We'll see. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!